Hello learners this is Babish from Lomosaki Labs this tutorial is all about creating a waffle structure with the help of follow me tool and a plugin named slicer so let's get into the topic in order to create the waffle structure only 3 steps are involved step 1 We have to create the cross section with the help of drafting tools in SketchUp, and also retain the central axis line. Step two, we have to create the base skeleton with the help of the cross section which we've already made, and along with that, we have to use the Follow Me tool and create the base skeleton. Step three, finally use the Slicer plugin and create your waffle structure and decorate it with the help of some base your waffle pavilion is ready step 1 creating the cross section in order to create the cross section i'm just going to use rectangle tool shortcut is r press your left arrow key and lock it in green axis now from this origin i'm going to draw a rectangle of 4 meter comma 4 meter enter Okay I'm having my base now I'm going to draw my cross section before that I'll just have my reference points so to have my reference point I'm going to take tape tool shortcut is T from this origin I'm just going to move and create the first reference as 0.5 meter enter and the second reference again another 0.5 enter now I'm going to provide the stark height so from the ground I'm just going to take it up above and provide a height of 2 meter enter that's it now finally just to have some extra element I'm just going to reduce this height by 0.15 meter enter so just with all these reference I'm going to create my cross section now now take your line tool shortcut is L starting from this point draw a inclined line done now take your arc tool shortcut is a for two point arc from this point just create a arc along blue color which represents which will be along the vertices that's it now select the arc only if you check now the number of segments will be 12 make it smooth by increasing it to more than 100 so i'm going to provide 100 yeah that's it now my cross section is almost ready next one step is just go select all these lines this line and the arc i'm just going to weld them together so go to extension click on weld now again select this line use your offset tool shortcut is f and provide a thickness of 0.15 enter that's it now if you see in the bottom area there is a extra projection so eraser erase this and at the top point which needs an extra projection so line tool extend it along pink line pink axis that's it i'm having my cross section ready just take your eraser erase this point and this point even this extra line and this extra line now we can also erase off all your grid lines we have our cross section ready so just retain the center line and your cross section that's it step 2 we have to create the base skeleton for waffle pavilion in order to create that i'm just going to use my follow me tool that's it so now guys already in step 1 we've retained the central line why because we are going to use this and then only we are going to create our base so to create the base skeleton I'm going to take my circle tool. Shortcut is C. Now press your up arrow key and then lock it in blue axis. Now on top of the central line which you've retained, just make a small circle of random dimension. Done. And now listen, just go zoom in and check here this circle has number of segments 24. Okay. If I'm using this 24 segment circle as a path and then if I'm following this surface around it then I won't get a smooth base. So in order to avoid that I'm just going to go 
first delete this inner surface done now select the outside path and then just change the number of segments to 100 that's it now i'll get a smooth output so see what i'm going to do just go select the path click on follow me tool and just click on the surface here so now the surface will travel along the path for the entire 360 degree and it will create the base for you That's it. We have our base cross section ready. Just check. Now I'll just go delete this path, even delete this central reference line. That's it. I'm having my base skeleton ready. Now just select it, right click and reverse face. That's all. Now again, just right click and make it as a separate group. So we have our base skeleton ready. Step 3. We have to create the waffle structure with the help of a plugin named Slicer. So you can download the plugin Slicer from Sketchication and the link is in the below description. Now let's understand the Slicer. Slicer is nothing but a plugin which is used to slice the base object body select based on the axis what we choose. That's it. Okay, now let's start modeling. First, before using the Slicer, just go save your file once. Okay, now I'll just select the base model, click on the slicer option, I'll get a dialog box like this. In this dialog box, just go choose your axis first. If I'm choosing X, Y, then the entire base model will be divided in X axis and Y axis so that I'll get a perfect pavilion. So I'll just go select X, Y. Now, spacing. I'm going to choose a spacing as 0.5. 3 and the thickness of each and every panel is going to be 0 0.03 now after all these things just go change the text height to 0, 0.00 and also the last thing is you have to go add reference go change it to no that's all now click on ok now again you'll get the same things just go check see spacing is 0 0.3 and thickness is 0 0.03 other than that, everything is fine. Just go click on OK again and wait for a while. The slicer will slice your entire base model. Yeah, now I have my waffle pavilion ready. Just check the slicer. I have already sliced it on X axis and Y axis. And along with this, if you see, it will also provide the individual elements along red axis and green axis. So I can use this for my 3D printing, but right now I don't need this. So I'll just go delete it. That's all. I have my waffle pavilion ready. I'll just go apply some other material to it. I'll select this wood material and apply it here. And for this, that's all. My waffle pavilion is ready. I'll just take a circle, shortcut is C, place it in the bottom and create a base. That's all. Just go change this thing to 100. And even you can apply some other material. I'll go to landscape, take some green color and apply it here. I have my waffle pavilion ready. I hope you guys would have liked the session of creating a waffle structure in SketchUp. So please do let us know if you want any other SketchUp videos in the comment section below and please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.